Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss how to install an X-Air digital flow meter with drill guide kit. When you purchase an X-Air digital flow meter with the drill guide, you're going to receive in the package the digital flow meter of the given size you have chosen. Today we have chosen to install a three-quarter inch Schedule 40 steel pipe along with have the readout in standard cubic feet per minute. The meters are also available in copper uh, calibrations along with standard cubic meter per hour readouts. Next you're going to receive a power supply which has five different plug types to go global installation, a small packet with a wire grommet to wire to the 4 to 20 milliamp output along with a few warning labels to notify that there will be holes in the pipe and an information card. An installation and maintenance guide and then the drill guide kit consists of a drill bit of the given post size, two guide devices to clamp onto the pipe while you are to align the holes to drill into the pipe for the meter, and then two different size allen wrenches which will coincide with the allen bolts on the meter for the installation. In order to perform the installation of the XR digital flow meter, you're going to need the drill guide kit, which we discussed earlier, the key part being the two clamp pieces, the drill bits, uh, and then in order to drill the holes you will need a drill, whether it's cordless or corded, shouldn't affect it. A clamp, you can either use a quick clamp like this or you can use a uh, standard C clamp. This is to hold the guides onto the pipe while you are drilling. Proper personal protection equipment that is uh, called for in your area a measuring device, and a marking utensil. The first step in the installation process of the digital flow meter is to locate where in the pipe the meter is going to be. For the X-Air digital flow meters you need to have 30 diameters of pipe upstream from the unit and 5 diameters downstream from the unit. So for today's purposes, since we are installing a 3 quarter inch Schedule 40 pipe digital flow meter, we need to have 22 and a half inches upstream towards our supply line. And there can be no connections or bends or disconnects. And then 5 and a half inches downstream. We will go ahead and clamp our drill guide on to the pipe. This is where you will use your C-clamp and or quick clamp. So then we will go ahead with proper personal protection equipment on. You will use the supplied drill bit to drill into the pipe. Remove your clamp and the drill guide. And then you will want to take some sandpaper or a deburring tool to try and lightly deburr the chips. The next step in the installation process is to go ahead and remove the backs of the clamps on the flow meter and insert the two probes into the holes that you just drilled. You want to take care not to bend or damage the probes during insertion. You will then take the backing half of the clamp ring and bolt it in with the supplied allen wrenches from the drill guide kit. Once the flow meter is installed onto the pipe, go ahead and install the two caution labels that were included with the kit and then select the correct power adapter for the wall receptacle that you're going to use and go ahead and plug the power cable into the flow meter. When you plug the flow meter in to power you will notice the screen is going to go through a boot sequence. 
then it will finalize at a flow of 0.0. .0. That concludes the installation of the XR Digital Flow Meter. If you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to contact us. You can ask for myself, Brian Fardo. I'm an application engineer here at XAIR, or any of the other application engineers will be able to help you. Our phone number is 1-800-903-9247, or you can contact us through our website at www.xair.com.